What's up you guys, it's Julian. Today I'm going to be giving you a bunch of no BS tips of just like stuff you need to get on the label of your dreams. If you've been struggling with getting with labels, maybe you already are connected with a few of them. Today I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know that you're missing or just some things that could really help you to get to where you're trying to get, you know? It's enough of just sitting around and thinking about it already. Today, let's give you the things that you're missing to get to the next level and get signed by the label of your dreams or just get signed by any label. Before this video starts, definitely check out my sample packs at the top of the description, you know. To get signed to these labels, you gotta have the best tracks. And to have the best tracks, you gotta have the best sounds. And the best sounds at the most accessible prices are located right at the top of my description of this video right now. So definitely go grab some of those. Also check out my lessons my ghost productions and my track finishing those are also really great deals take your tracks to the next level and let's dive in all right so the first piece of advice that i think is kind of overlooked and may seem obvious but when i explain it you'll understand why it needs to be said and that is really good music above all else and i know it's a very common phrase to say in this day and age day and age you know good music isn't good music alone isn't enough and that's true to some extent like i think if it's only good music yeah you need you know something on top of that but man like you know the your tracks just have to be it like they're signing your music like i think you know obviously we attach a lot of ourselves to music and we attach a lot of ourselves to like the promotion and the music getting out there and getting as big as possible but you know, at the end of the day, man, like, that can only happen if you have the best tracks. And not to mention, I can't tell you how many times I've seen people get up in front of either a big crowd or, you know, like a big online crowd, like getting on a bigger label or something like that. And even though the music wasn't there, they somehow, they did something to get to that place. Like, you know, they just had a really great personality or they were really good friends with the owner of whatever label or whatever. And, you know, even though they did everything, they got to that stage, they were up there, you know, they had it all going on, the tracks weren't there. And even if you can get these people to want to work with you without your music being good enough, the fans can see it, and they're going to know, and your thing isn't going to last. So, all this goes to say, good music above all else. I don't care, like what you think i don't care what gimmick you got i don't i literally don't care like the gimmick is not gonna work unless you have good music with a really good gimmick the second tip here that i think is very overlooked as well is to provide some sort of a value to a label and this is especially in the age we're in now where everybody kind of does everything right it's like you know if you want this label to help you out and you want them to use their clout and they're sort of like following they've already built to push you and take you to the next level. You got to provide something to them too. And a lot of times that is really good music or what have you. But, you know, there's other ways you can do that too. You know, like you could just befriend like like you could figure out, okay, let's say there's like a hard techno label that you really want to get on or whatever. You know, you could just befriend the owner and be like, hey, man, like I I can do artwork. like. Anything that you could do, like maybe you know how to edit videos, maybe you know how to do artwork, maybe you know how to master tracks, you know? That's a great one, right? If you're like a super engineer type of person and you just, you know all the science of frequencies and you still can't figure out why a label won't sign your tracks, well, try doing some of that for them, you know? Like just anything that you can do that's like actually valuable to them that's not gonna like be more difficult for them to implement but is actually just something they need like i said like artwork mastering video editing those kinds of things if you can do that and build the relationship doing that for them or with them first and then go to like hey by the way you know i also have tracks and they are pretty good like maybe you might want to hear them i think you can build a stronger relationship because like you know, at the end of the day, man, like, we're all busy, and we're all really just looking out for ourselves. I mean, like, as as uh, dark as that may sound sometimes, like, that's really what it is. You know, these label owners, I mean, dude, they're busy. They're getting a million emails. They're getting even, like, not the biggest ones. They're still, like, having to shut or tell a lot of people no. And so I think if you can try to come at it from the angle 
like I said, of providing some sort of value for them rather than just like, hey, man, here's my music. Do you like it? They will be a lot more open to what you have to say, and they will definitely want to hear your music a lot more. And because the thing you got to keep in mind, too, is like, it's not just the fact that the label owner listened to your music. It's did they listen to it while they were like in a good frame of mind to even want to, you know, give this thing the time of day? Because the worst thing would be like to get, you know, one of these people to hear your tracks that you've been wanting and they're annoyed because you've been banging down their door. But if they listen to it from the perspective of, oh, this this person helped me, you know, with with uh, artwork or with video editing or mastering, they're going to listen to it from a much more open place. And thus, you might see some better results. So the next tip here that can really help you is I think you'd be surprised who you're connected with already if you're already, like, you know, kind of moving around in the game. And I think that digging a little bit to try to find, like, some actual people from the label to hit up rather than, like, an info at label name here or whatever it may be, I think that would be better. So what you want to do is, again, you know, dig through, like, like who you know and look at their social medias and look at, like, who they're interacting with. And you'd really be surprised, you know? I mean, this game, especially, like, dance music or, like, underground dance music, I mean, even mainstream dance music, it's a pretty small world, you know? I mean, e- like, even outside of that, like, I, you know, pop music is run by, like, three or four or five people, right? So, like, all of this goes to say, like, you really, you don't know who you know until you kind of, or at least who you might have some access to, until you kind of look around. So, like I said, look through socials of different people that you're friends with in the industry Look and see kind of like what is in your general sphere and try to hit them up or try to get some kind of like way at them. Because I think if you can do this and try to get not just connected to someone from the label, but like an introduction to somebody from this label is going to go over a lot better than just hitting up like info at insert label name here. And again, you'd really be surprised who you do now. I can't tell you how many times like, I was literally just for months like hoping for to get contacted or something by a label. And then it was like, oh, yeah, it turns out my friend just like did an EP with them four years ago before they were popping. Well, I guess I, you know, so you just never know. And I think the last tip that can really, really help you, and I've struggled with this one before because I didn't do it. And I learned my lesson because I spent a lot of time going, oh my God, why won't they sign my tracks? Really listen to the feedback that you get. You know, if these people go so far as to listen to your tracks and actually give you some feedback, especially if, like, let's be real, your track probably wasn't there. Like, you know, it probably didn't, maybe you didn't even deserve feedback. Maybe you needed some more work to even just get to that point, right? But if they will give you feedback and these are, like, professionals that are, like, at the level you want to be at or in charge of the label you want to be on, Listen to the feedback, man. Like, that is that is so valuable, them giving you that. And you can learn so much because it's so personalized to your own tracks. But what I see often is people saying, well, I know how to make techno or I know how to make whatever genre it is. You know, these people, okay, they told me that, whatever, whatever. But I'm really just going to keep doing what I do. And you can do that. And you might get signed and you might get some people that are going to get on board with you and and do things the way you do them. But really, I think the best thing is going to come from like, listen to the feedback. You know, don't think that you know everything except that there's some stuff there that they probably do know because these are the pros that are in charge of this label. They hear tons of tracks. They really like get this stuff, you know. And if they'll give you that feedback, listen to it. And it may not even be on that track, but, you know, kind of implement that stuff into your overall production. And then next time you send them demos, they're going to know that you actually paid attention and that you're actually trying to get better. And you're not just sending them tracks and going, oh, but, but you don't know how, like, how to help it. You just either sign it or, you see what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of foolish to look at that and say, 
oh, well, you, you know, you gave me feedback, but I'm just going to, like, not listen to it and keep going. Why would they want to sign you after that? So all these tips come together. I think after watching this video, you should have some new ideas and some new takes on how to actually go about it. You know, it's not actually that hard to get on these labels. You really just got to have great music. I would say that's probably the hardest part. And then maybe just digging a little bit and trying to find some contacts for these labels. So that's me for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed. As always, make sure to like this video as well as subscribe. And let me know what you think of this video in the comments. Like I said in the beginning, you can get the best templates on the market right now. The best sample packs and presets, too, are all available at the top of the description on my website, electronicsamples.com. Again, this is the best quality stuff on the market. And it really helps support me, too. If you guys enjoy these videos, you know, I really don't make a whole lot off of YouTube. I mean, it's kind of funny. But with these sample packs, I'm able to keep bringing you guys new videos and all that every single day. Thank you so much for the support, everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow with another video.